Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other motion graphics stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width I am going to choose 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then press Ctrl Y to create solid background and I am going to call it as BG and hit OK. And let's lock this layer. Now I am going to select my text tool and I am going to take type my text i'm going to choose select black color and i'm going to choose oswald font you can choose any font you want and first type i now uh, let's uh, select this text and press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this then select this hit ctrl d let's type low hit ctrl d let's type motion let's hide this so we can see this text now select this text go to the character menu and we are going to decrease this value to somewhere around minus 50 similar for this love text also i'm going to tap minus 50 then select this and hit ctrl d and change the text to graphics okay let's lock this here and now select this uh, like that okay now select this bg and hit ctrl d and press ctrl shift y to open the solid settings and change the color of this one to black and simply hit ok and bring this at the top zoom in a little bit let's go select this and press p for position create one keyframe go to around one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's move this over here by holding shift okay like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we will get something like this now as you guys can see at this point uh, this is going over here so let's go over here select this eye and press ctrl shift d to split this layer and now we are going to make it apparent with this bg2 layer which is black now select this eye press v and let's simply move this over here so it will touch the edge of this comb so if you see we will get this kind of animation now we will select our love layer over here love text layer and we are going to change the color of this layer to white one and we will select this and we will make it apparent with this bg so now if you see this animation we will get something like this now let's go to around one second now i'm going to select this uh, uh, bg layer hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top which is over here and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here now press p for position create one keyframe go to around two second create another keyframe go to the start simply select this and move this out of this composition like this and select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this similarly at this point over here around over here i'm going to select this love text i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and now i'm going to make it apparent with this bg layer okay so we'll get something like this also at this point let's select this this love layer and hold uh, somewhere around over here like this yeah this is our animation so this then this now at this point i am going to enable my motion text and we will move this over here 
and uh, let's go somewhere around over here and we will move this text layer over here go to around two seconds and now select this motion and make it apparent with this bg so if you see we will get something like this now select this bg layer over here hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top press ctrl shift y to uh, open the solid settings and choose black color and we will select this and we will move this over here okay press p for position create one keyframe go to around three seconds create another keyframe go over here and simply from here to move this over here like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this let's go over here uh, hit page down button one time select this motion text press ctrl shift d to split this layer make it apparent with this second layer select this this motion layer a little bit and we'll move this over here okay so we'll get this one now our final text is remaining which is i change the color of this layer to white and let's go to around two second and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here go to around three seconds select this and let's move make it apparent with this bg so we will get something like this okay now again i'm going to bring my uh, original black bg layer hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top and let's move this over here then press p create one keyframe over here go to around four seconds create another keyframe go to the start and i'll bring this layer downwards okay like this select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph select this by holding shift move this handle over here move this handle over here like this and in somewhere around over here hit page down button select this graphic press ctrl shift d to split this layer and make it apparent with this bg select this graphics press p and let's bring this over here so we'll get something like this and then we will go to the start and we will bring this i layer over here hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top and let's move this layer over here let's increase the duration go to around four seconds and we'll make it apparent with this bg okay and now uh, what we are going to do uh, if you see this we have our animation almost ready now we need to add some extra effects over here so hit n over here then go to the start over here we will select this loud text press p for position create one keyframe go to around one second create another keyframe over here or you can simply move this over here create move this somewhere around over here like this and move this keyframe over here but let's over i think at this point it should be good select this and initially let's move this position a little bit backward and select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this so if we hit play we will get something like this same thing we will go for this motion layer over here which is this one press p create one keyframe go to around over here create another keyframe go to the start and we will bring this a little bit upward select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph select this graph hold shift hold shift like this okay select this motion press p create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start simply move this over here select those keyframe go to the graph select this and move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this same procedure we will follow for this i select this press p for position create one keyframe over here create one keyframe go over and bring this downwards select those keyframe and hit f9 
go to the graph select this and by holding shift move this handle over here so if you see we are gonna get this kind of animation okay like this now select all of them and press uh, press f4 and enable this motion blur press ctrl shift c and we are going to name it as animation like this and now after that right click new and create one adjustment layer and let's uh, name it as uh, apply tint effect on it uh, and we can swap this layer like this and if you want then you can move this over here also so if you see this animation now you will get this kind of stuff so this is how you can play around with this or press s unlink this and let's make this 50 for example over here so if you see this animation you will get something like this you can select this press r for rotation create one keyframe go to around four second and let's make this one complete rotation so if you see this now you will get something like this okay you can simply move this over here also you can select this hit ctrl d and you can move this over here also like this okay so if you see this now we will get something like this and you can simply move this and let's for example move this over here so we will get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of creative text animation inside of after effects and another thing if you want you can do you can go to all of them like this you can select each and every text layer by holding ctrl and simply hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top a little bit over here go to the character menu over here and we can select those and uh, as you guys can see this is black color so we are going to choose black color for the stroke and we will delete this fill we will follow this procedure for each and every one according to their original color we are going to choose their stroke color for example for white one we will choose white one and for the black one we will choose black one only so i'm going to do the same i'll choose their stroke color according to their fill color and i'll delete this fill obviously we don't need those fill okay like this and select all of them and press p for position and let's go somewhere around over here and select their positions a little bit or uh, instead of that let's do one thing select all of them for example let's uh, go and over here go to the effect and presets panel and search for transform effect and simply double click to apply this transform effect and change the position of this one over here and this one over here like this copy this transform effect hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v so you will get something like this select those uh, text layers go to the character menu and we are going to choose 0.2 or let's say 0.5 pixel strokes over here like this okay but as you guys can see over here we are getting some remaining stuff over here so to get rid of that what we can do over here is uh, go to over here we can select this animation press s and we can increase a uh, size a little bit to get rid of those errors so this is how you can create this kind of text animation and if you want to change the color simply right click new and create one extra adjustment layer you can go and apply tint effect over here and you can change this color anytime instead of black you can choose red and you can swap it either 
so this is how you can create this kind of animation